Irving Shipbuilding is set to commence sea trials for the sixth and last Arctic and offshore patrol ship, AOPS, destined for the Royal Canadian Navy, the HMCS Robert Hampton Gray, AOPV 435, before August 2025 ends. This vessel, launched on December 9, 2024, more than two months earlier than planned, was floated in Halifax's Bedford Basin after being moved onto a submersible barge on December 6 at the Halifax shipyard. The Harry de Wolf class ships, inspired by Norway's Coast Guard vessel No CGV Svalbard, were first proposed in 2007 during Prime Minister Stephen Harper's initiative to strengthen Canada's Arctic sovereignty. HMCS Robert Hampton Gray is the final naval ship of this class and the first built fully under Canada's National Shipbuilding Strategy, NSS. The AOPS project forms a key part of the NSS Combat Fleet Program managed by Irving Shipbuilding, which also encompasses two Coast Guard variants and plans for 15 upcoming river-class destroyers. The decision to build this sixth ship was confirmed in November 2018. Named for Lt. Robert Hampton Gray, a heroic naval aviator in the Royal Canadian Naval Volunteer Reserve who served with the Royal Navy's Fleet Air Arm during World War II, the ship honors his sacrifice. Gray famously led an airstrike on August 9, 1945, sinking a Japanese escort ship in Inagawa Bay before crashing at sea. He was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross, the last Canadian recipient of the war, alongside prior recognition with the Distinguished Service Cross. Construction milestones included the first steel cut in August 2022, keel laying in August 2023, and hull launch in December 2024. Each ship of the Harry de Wolf class is linked to an Inuit region in northern Canada, Robert Hampton Gray represents the Inuvialuit region. Measuring 103.6 meters long with a beam of 19 meters and displacing 6,615 tons, HMCS Robert Hampton Gray is reinforced for Arctic conditions with Polar Class 5 ice strengthening and an upgraded bow rated for Polar Class 4. Its propulsion system consists of four-man medium-speed diesel generators powering twin electric motors, enabling a top speed of 17 knots in open water and 3 knots in ice up to 1 meter thick. The ship can travel 6,800 nautical miles at 14 knots and carries rescue boats, a landing craft, and a vehicle bay for trucks, ATVs, and snowmobiles, supported by a 20-ton crane. Accommodations are provided for 65 crew members, expandable to 87. Armament is relatively modest, featuring a BAE Systems MK38 Mod 3A 25mm chain gun and two M2 Browning machine guns. The vessel also supports a helicopter hangar and flight deck capable of hosting Sikorsky CH-148 Cyclone, Bell CH-146 Griffin, or CU-176 Gargoyle UAV aircraft. Advanced sensors include Terma Scanta radars, Kelvin Hughes Sharp Eye radars, integrated bridge and navigation systems by OSI Maritime, and a Lockheed Martin CMS 330 combat management system, all optimized for Arctic operations but adaptable for other climates. Originally envisioned in 2007 as a fleet of six to eight Polar Class 5 Arctic patrol vessels, the AOPS program merged into the broader national shipbuilding strategy in 2010. Irving Shipbuilding secured the combat ship contract in 2011, with the NSS eventually expanding to include more shipyards and a much larger budget. The cost of the six naval variants rose to nearly $5 billion, reflecting increasing complexity. Construction began with the first ship in 2015, and as of 2025, five vessels are operational with the final nearing delivery. Parallel Coast Guard variants also use the AOPS hull design but incorporate distinct features for civilian maritime roles. While the Harry de Wolf class has faced criticism over its limited firepower and slower speeds compared to foreign counterparts like Russia's missile-equipped Project 23550, it continues to perform regular Arctic patrols. Notable deployments include those by HMCS William Hall, Frederick Rolette, Max Bernays, and Margaret Brook. Past issues with water system contamination were resolved through thorough inspections and replacements. Recent defense policy discussions have also recommended adding ocean surveillance sensors to these vessels. The AOPS fleet stands as the largest group of warships built in Canada in over 50 years. 
Constructed from 62 large steel blocks assembled at Halifax Shipyard, these ships form a crucial part of Canada's strategic presence in the north. The shipyard is now ramping up production for the future river-class destroyers, while Coast Guard ships derived from the AOPS hull are also progressing. Despite rising costs, the NSS program exceeds $100 billion and continues to shape Canada's maritime defense and sovereignty capabilities. HMCS Robert Hampton Gray joins a distinguished group of vessels named after Canadian naval heroes, furthering the Royal Canadian Navy's tradition of honoring its service members. Its namesake's legacy includes a rare memorial in Japan dedicated to a foreign soldier, reflecting his unique place in military history. As sea trials begin and delivery approaches, this vessel marks the completion of the Harry DeWolf class program, paving the way for the next generation of Canadian naval shipbuilding.